Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranakhat, West Bengal, India. In this video, we are going to see the divide and conquer technique of fecal emulsification. Let us observe the surgery. First, make the side port on the right side of the main incision at around 8.45 o'clock and make the incision from just behind the limbus. Don't make a very small side port. The width of the side port may be 1.6 or 1.7 millimeter. And now make the main incision. First incise the conjunctiva just behind the limbus and through this incision go forward for some distance and then go into the anterior chamber. And now make a cystitum bending the 26 gauze bent needle and this is for capsulorexis. The beginners may find needle more comfortable than a uterita forceps. One, now this is the rexis, go through the side port, make a straight cut, pull the capsule, raise the capsule attack, flip the capsular flap and guide the flap in such a way that you get a rexis of about 5 or 5 to 6 millimeter. In this case the rexis became quite small. It became say probably 4.75 millimeter. Now this is the side port on the left side of the main incision. So we have two side ports and the main wound in this case. Now this is hydro dissection with BSS and 27 gauge irrigating cannula. Inject some amount of fluid. See that the fluid wave goes towards the opposite equator. Tap the nucleus there should not be any fluid buildup behind the lens, behind the lens mass. Rotate the nucleus, inject some more visco, this is 2% HPMC. And now the FACO probe is to be introduced into the anterior chamber. Irrigation is on and with its bevel down the FECO needle goes into the anterior chamber. Some superficial cortical lens matter and some epinuclear lens matter is removed for better visibility. Now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel of the FECO needle up towards the corneal endothelium. And now start sculpting. Make the trench. Always sculpt and go forward. Don't go forward without sculpting. Which means you should not push the nucleus. Cut and go. Don't go and cut. First cut, remove some lens much and then go forward. And make a blast sign. The depth of these trenches should be about 80 to 90 percent. You should see the faint red glow at the floor of the trenches and then 
you start separating the pieces. Go to the bottom of the floor and then apply opposing forces. So long you are in FECO on mode where the vacuum and flow rate was very minimal. Vacuum was about 50 to 80 millimeter of mercury and flow rate was 20 to 25 ml per minute. And now with FECO 2 mode where the vacuum is more, flow rate is more, the pieces are emulsified. Always the energy is according to the hardness of the nucleus. In this case the ultrasonic energy was set at 60% though 60% energy was not required most of the time. And now during the last part go to epinuclear mode where the vacuum is less and flow rate is also less. And initially don't try this. Don't try to aspirate the cortex by the FECO needle itself. This is not for beginners. We have two side ports so we can use bimanual irrigation aspiration. Here in this case I'm going to introduce the irrigating cannula through the left side port and aspirating cannula through the right side port. And now the cortex is removed. Vacuum is 300, floor rate is 30 and all the cortex from the upper part is removed. The lower part, the cortex came out along with the nucleus. This is a bit of polishing of the posterior capsule by the irrigating cannula itself. And now the capsular bag and the anterior chamber is filled up with visco and then the main wound is enlarged a little bit. When you have a wound just behind the limbus then you can enlarge the main wound this will help you in implantation of the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens and it has been placed in the capsular bag. If you can't implant the lens by a stroke of the left hand instrument you can go through the right side port use a Sinsky hook and place the trailing haptic in the capsular bag. And now is the time to remove the visco and we must do it thoroughly. I usually use a Simco cannula first remove most of the visco by the Simco cannula and then I use the irrigation aspiration cannuli of bimanual IA. And now here goes the irrigation aspiration cannuli. First I use the irrigating cannula only. Irrigate the antechamber. Then I go behind the lens. Irrigate the capsular bag so that no visco gets retained behind the lens. And then I use irrigation and aspiration together. So this is a thorough cleaning of viscoelastic substance first by Simco cannula, then by irrigating cannula and then by both irrigation and aspiration cannuli. And now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma. We should always hydrate the posterior part of these 
incisions. The main wound doesn't require any hydration. We have not stressed the main wound at any point of time, so it will seal automatically. Yes. There is no leakage from the main wound. Little bit of ooze is there from the left side port. Keep it pressed for few seconds and the ooze of BSS stops. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Divide and concur technique is the basic technique of uh, which uh, any new eye surgeon must master first because you train your foot you develop hand, eye, brain, foot coordination. You know your phacomation through this technique. So always learn this technique first and then go to direct job technique.